out to some of our friends and loved ones who we haven't talked to in a while and we got uh, one of our viewers text us or left a message about she texts two or three people each and every day that she hasn't talked to in a while just to say hi to kind of get the ball rolling and that's a veronica saying hi veronica how are you doing hon hi veronica we appreciate your comments and like we were talking about earlier we need to live in the moment live and live for today so be Careful, look for the ones that prioritize who we really want to reach out to. If we send 20 texts all at once, say, hi, everyone, come join us, which is great. But if we get 20 conversations happening all at the same time, it can be a little overwhelming. So let's prioritize, let's live for the day, and definitely, definitely reach out. Yes. Well, um, as we are talking about earlier, we're going to talk about vacations. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorite subjects. One of my favorite topics. That's your favorite subject? Well, your shoes are my, my first favorite subject, of course. We can have I, to talk about Maria's it? shoes. Uh, well, well, we can't have a show if you don't show off your shoes. Alrighty. Yeah, there they are. Look at that. Oh, it's too close to my nose. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but they're nice shoes. The whole idea is to be genuine when you talk to people, and I appreciate what you're doing, Maria. That's great. Maybe we'll have a contest in the future so well, someone can figure out what color shoes you're wearing. As you already know, I love my shoes no matter what, right? Absolutely. So, uh, talking about vacations, obviously you must... Um, Obviously, accessorize, but have some of the nicest clothes with you when you go on some of your vacations you've done. So, where have you traveled before, Maria? Oh, where uh, I traveled. Um, let me start with um, sure. what are the states that I visited in the United States? I visited about six, uh, yes, sixteen different states already, and my goal is to go to all fifty-one, right? <laughs> Puerto Rico, uh, right? Is Puerto Rico is not a state. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's 50. Yeah. I'm okay, it's 50 then. It's 50. Somebody Whatever. check your papers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know that I'm smaller than you, don't I, 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 You're a pretty tough one. You're a pretty <laughs> tough one. Well, no. I, I would like to thank uh, to the people who just actually um, tuned in earlier. Veronica Singh. Um, forgot the names. Hey, that's all right. We have this guy, Joe, who checked in earlier. Vanessa's <laughs> been watching it from the very beginning. Oh, yeah. And, yes. And is Vanessa is? She is loving the, what we're doing here. And she might talk to us a little bit later. So it should be pretty exciting. Yes. And uh, I would like to actually acknowledge that it's her birthday yesterday, right? That's true, and what, if she lets us bring her on the show, we'll let her tell you all about some of the fun we had. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. So anyways, you talk about you want to visit all 50, 51, 52 <laughs> states, which is good. You know, we just had a government shutdown for a day the other day, and California's been talking it. about splitting up into a couple different states anyways. So, who knows? We may have 51, 52 states in the future. Oh, that's true. No. It could well, happen. Uh, let me talk about uh, vacation, uh, prime destinations, prime locations, Absolutely. and prime time. Absolutely. So, what is the most visited state in the U.S.? I think the most oh, visited no. state would have to be California because it's bigger than the rest. Well, uh, how, many, uh, how many visitors you have every single year? Do you know? In our state, I think it's um, 100,000. 100,000? Is that too many? <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> I don't know. But anyways, the first adult destination around the world is Las Vegas, Nevada. 
and they are actually investing a lot of people here in Nevada now. They just spent ten billion dollars in investment. Okay. They okay. started to do the Asian Asian theme park, which is the resorts world. Okay. They are bringing the Raiders here. That's true. That's true. They're on board in a couple years. They'll and BA here. is coming here. It's right actually uh, the resort yes. uh, that I work for. It's right across it. Oh really? Okay. So NBA is coming here. Yay! <laughs> NBA, pro football. We already have NASCAR here. Yes, we have so. already NASCAR. So yes. So see that uh, people are investing their money here. So do you think they know something is coming up in the future? I think the ones who are investing here because they know it's becoming even a bigger travel destination than ever before. So it's a prime time, the prime destination in the prime time because prime time it will be NBA games, football games, NASCAR. Uh, True, you have a great the university. The University um, Las Vegas, uh, Nevada has a great um, basketball team themselves and other teams. Yeah, well, um, and the CES, the electronic show that just happened a week ago here in okay, Vegas. Okay. Uh, on those days, I was, I, I'm just curious, I went online to all those um, travel um, websites and I've been browsing on all those websites, just keep on clicking to nine different pages at, in, on each website and guess what? Never seen any available rooms. Four, yeah. four days. What well, she's talking about during that last event we had, and like any city, when you have a, a major event going on and people coming from all over the world, prices tend to increase, especially the hotels and lodging. Oh, yes. Food, a hotel, and everything is uh, increasing, actually. Can you imagine in 10 to 20 years with all the inflation, too? Everything will be so expensive. It's crazy. If there's ever a way to save money vacationing here or maybe even get a place to stay that will never go up, it's something worth considering. Yes, of course. Let me just say hi to Natty Ventanilla and John Ramones Hove and Kiki or Nikki Keha. That's my uh, one of my best friends, uh, son actually. Hi, thank you for watching guys. Hi everyone. And yeah, so we're talking about uh, prime destinations and what are the other prime destinations um, besides California and right. Las Vegas? So let's talk about well, New York New City. York. New yeah. York City, absolutely. I've been there many times. And even though I've been to New York City a dozen or more times, I've still never visited Paris Island. I, I, I'm not Paris yeah, Island, <laughs> Ellis Island, <laughs> I've never seen Paris. a Statue of Liberty, I, see that. I still haven't seen a lot, I've not seen Macy's Viewers, Day Parade. Viewers, do you want to see that? The Statue of Liberty, <laughs> yes. Well, we have Eiffel Tower here. <laughs> That's true, well, Vegas probably, they have a Statue of Liberty here also. Oh yes, and New, yes. York, New, York. New York. So if New you want to see New York, New York, or a Statue of Liberty, Paris, come over here, do we have here? <laughs> come over here, you know, it's, it's real important, even though we probably cannot see every great destination in the world, but pick, pick a place that you can visit every year, even if it's two, three hour drive away from your home and then maybe take an exotic vacation every other year. But make sure you're going somewhere that you can truly enjoy what it has to offer and make it a quality time with your loved ones. Yes, you know the, the main thing is even though we're talking about prime destination, prime location, sure. and during prime time, the most important thing or the full, uh, you know, full um, reason why we're doing all these va vacations mm -hmm. is to actually spend quality time. Yes, we go vacation when we uh, for work, but that's not that's necessarily not a vacation. vacation. You're going work, although you're going someplace, it's still work. True. That's totally different. You know, I been uh, talking to a lot of families True. that come to vacation or work here in Vegas. Is they're like. Um, I see their wife actually standing in the elevator and I'm like, are you here for vacation? And they're like, yeah, I'm here because my husband is working. That is not quality time, people. I you see that a lot. Um, being in the military most of my career, or sure, I've been to Thailand, Australia, and Korea, and Japan, and Germany, and, and all over the place, but more often than not, I was either going there 
uh, part of my duties being in the military or I was just transitioning through. Hi, so, Eileen Akub. Yeah, <laughs> so not all of my family got to go with me all the time. So even though it was exciting, after a while, it kind of gets old, you know, traveling through Turkey for the 10th time by yourself without showing it with, to someone. You know, so it's important to spend those little moments sharing those experiences. It doesn't have to be big. It mm -hmm. just has to be memorable. So it's real important that we keep doing what we can and invite new people. Sure, maybe I'll go to Las Vegas this week and maybe next month to Hollywood. Bring, you know, bring your loved one with you or Salt Lake City. It doesn't really have to be that far. And if you never visited the Grand Canyon or Hoover Dam, and you're only a couple hours away from one another, do it. Do it. Well, uh, Utah is, uh, I love the park city. Yes. In Utah where you can ski. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's actually a um, um, prime destination as well during prime time on ski season. On ski season. Well, what do you know about skiing? Do you live here in Las Vegas? Well, we have actually Mount Charleston, so you can go ski too. Sure, sure. And, <laughs> and we're trying, but Maria used to live in Minnesota, where it's a lot colder than here. And I used to live in Ohio and Maine and all other different places of the world, where it's a lot colder than the central coast of California. But I choose to stay where I live, on the beach. You can have the snow. Yeah, well, I, I will actually choose the snow besides, the, uh, you know, um, against the beach, yes. Bitches. Really? <laughs> no. Bitches. Okay, okay, so there. There's where we differ. We have different ideas of what an ideal vacation is like. Yep. You'd rather be near the ski slopes and mountains, mm -hmm. and I'd rather be down to earth with the fishes. Yes, so when actually the And the water. sea lions <laughs> and elephant seals and everything else out there. Well, we have another uh, prime destination. Well, tell me, what's your... Hawaii. Best? Hawaii. Uh, like this? Yeah. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, something like that? Yeah. And you used to live in Hawaii, if yes, I'm not mistaken. I used to, yes, I, I got actually... I had um, island fever, that's why I moved out. How come it seems like everywhere you lived was a prime destination? Of course, because I'm a prime <laughs> woman. <laughs> well, obviously, we see the shoes, we see the shoes. And I was in Hawaii a few months ago myself. And if you haven't been there, uh, really, for at least for America, it's one of the cleanest beaches, some of the cleanest oceans out there. And I would even spend time on the Big Island, up where the volcano is, and got it's to see the lava, uh -huh. which is still pouring, I believe, every day into the ocean. So it's kind of a, it's a big deal to check out. Big oh, yes, oh, out. yes. We're Those are some hot fishes out there. Yeah, we're talking about... Um, about clear water they yeah. have this uh, forbidden island where you cannot really go to the island without invitation from the, ro the hawaiian royal okay. blood kind of thing have you been that i forgot the name people but if uh, anybody at, in hawaii is watching right now um text me because i forgot the name it's a forbidden island okay. you cannot actually step in there okay yeah. and that's a good point we went to the boat a boat, boat trip yes but we, we cannot get, we, we cannot stop in the island, we have to just go around it. It's not like prison, like Alcatraz outside no, of California? It's not. No, 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 it's different. <laughs> by, <laughs> by invitation only, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's, not like, like that. that's not by invitation. That's <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a one-way trip. It's talking about jail, people. Prison. Prison, jail, invitation, oh, it's oh, all the same. That's not an invitation, they did it, they did it. They didn't get invited. They oh my God! Come on. Oh, well, we're going right out on. of topic right here. <laughs> okay, so some of the best destinations, at least in the United States, we're talking about New York City, Las Vegas, Vegas Hawaii, Hawaii Hollywood, San all those Francisco. places in California. Oh my God! Yeah, that's California too, you know. <laughs> well, I think that's a fifty-first state. <laughs> Yeah, Golden we, Gate and everything. The Golden like, Gate, um, we have a thing oh. called, I think it's Pier 69, where you go out and there, you got bubble, gubble, gubble shrimp, all the, oh. all the big restaurant chains out yeah, there. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you see the, the sea lions right up there off, off the pier in the water and, and they have live music all the time. Beautiful. You can check it out. And obviously if you like sailboats, there's lots of them out there. In the view, you have the Presidio, used to be an army base out there. And like you said, the Golden Gate Bridge, yeah. which is not golden. Or, <laughs> it's or, red. It's red. <laughs> it's red. Well, we're talking about... Um, Prime destination sure. and prime location. Are, how about outside the United States? Oh, absolutely. I like to travel a lot. And but Maria's from the Philippines, and I've traveled there and lived there um, several times it's myself. It's not a prime destination, though. I think it is. You want really clear beaches? Check it out. But you, you always hear prime destinations... The, the basics, London, the Paris, Paris Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Rio, all those uh, great Bahamas. places, Rio, Bahamas, <laughs> Puerto Rico, well, that's the state. All right, so those is. are the prime destinations sure. and locations. How sure. about, let's talk about prime time. Prime time. It's fun to go to, let's say, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. But you want to go there during the prime time, you want to go in the summer, you want to do their surfing contest, wow. you want to have a Rio, what do we call it, the uh, the so Carnival, the oh. Carnival going on, it's real similar to our Mardi Gras in New Orleans, oh. but at a whole different level. I like to go to New Orleans. Well, yeah, yeah. New yeah. Orleans is really nice, really yeah. nice. Well, uh, you know what, uh, a lot of times is these prime destinations and prime locations, the Prime times are normally the holidays, Christmas, New Year. Um, when the kids are in school. Yeah, July 4th here in Vegas and summertime sure. and ski season. Sure. Those are the prime time. So when you're actually uh, looking for vacation, is you normally take these three different reasons to go to those um, places, right? Sure. To bring your family member or your loved one to spend what? Quality time. Quality time. And Making memories. And what is the big problem of all this money? It's money, right money is the big... Money is the... I know you guys see that, but... Anyways, I want to say... Money and time. Big yes. Day. Well, I want to say, say hi to... Uh, uh, to my sister Marsha Ruiz in Hawaii and Joshua Rudinov in Hawaii. By the way, uh, Josh, how are you doing? He is a real estate in Kauai. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, so he actually uh, rent a lot of resorts unit in Hawaii. So if you okay. guys okay. Wa if you guys want to see him, if you guys want to go in the prime time, which is Hawaii and Kauai is a beautiful a small island only about 50,000 people lives there. Okay, like Alcatraz. I've never been to Alcatraz. So time. I cannot compare them. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a prime time. But anyways, you can go ahead and try to um, uh, contact him. He has a lot of... He's one of the, top, of the top real estate brokers in Kauai, by the way. Sure. Yeah, so he makes a lot of money. So, uh, Josh, I know... Uh, you, you have to pay my ticket to come out there, right? <laughs> since I am promoting you. Well, there you are. Every one of us knows someone that can sometimes get us deals on something. If it's a hotel or airfare or car rentals or whatever it is, maybe uh, take us uh, or show us tips of the trade where we can get a dinner that's less expensive out, outside the touristy route. Yes. And when we when someone shares that information with us, first of all, we thank them. Yes. And then we share with others. We want everyone, maybe we, want, we don't want everyone on the private island with us, but a lot of the other things outside of that, we want to share. We want to show our appreciation. And I also wanted to say hi to my um, classmates back in elementary. She's in California now, and she just, she's How many watching years ago, I Don Molina. It, uh, the last time I'm, I saw her is about 25 years ago. Oh my God! Shut <laughs> up! Elementary. I'm just, I'm just, 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 just well, thinking. Well, the just high thinking. school uh, days, uh, the year of high school see, or schooling in the Philippines is totally different in the United that's States. True. So I'm not gonna say that. That's so that true. means you don't know my age. He, that's what he's trying to get into. Is how old I am. I how young I am. Oh, old. You said old. Okay, we got that viewer. She said she's getting older. 
No, IBM. But anyways, oh yeah, so those are the, uh, what I was, um, the bottom of all this vacationing is money. Money. Money, money. It's really hard. Money. Unless you live in Hawaii or near the beach no, or it doesn't near matter. the skiing, it's money that truly enjoys. Yes, exactly. So, it, see, a lot of people in Hawaii, although they live in a paradise, in a prime destination, they cannot vacation in their island. It's because they have to work for to make a living. Sure. Sure. So that's one of the reasons. So like what I'm talking about is all about money. That comes to money. And, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people doesn't go on vacation. You know, you brought up a good point. Those that live in Hawaii or New York or different parts of California certainly live in uh, the paradise in some sorts, but they're working for it. Most people are working so hard to just be able to pay the bills they don't really get to truly enjoy where they do live yeah exactly because See, of oh money and that's a that's the main reason why a lot of people don't go on vacation and i read a book or an article saying that the people who goes on vacation often yes. they live longer they live longer that's a very true fact those who can vacation, uh, a good vacation should be stress-free. Yes. And when we reduce stress in our lives, our lives are more enriched, so we become healthier and happier people, genuinely. So we're going to talk more about... Money? Money, money. Mm, show me the money. Yeah, money, Take money. We're going to talk about uh, how to actually um, uh, save money and going on those prime destination, prime location, yes. and during prime time, which is New Year. During New Year. New, uh, during New Year, July 4th, Christmas, CES. Spring breaks. Spring all breaks and things. everything. Absolutely. So that's what we are here for, is I want to talk more about how to make money. Exactly. We just mentioned that we're out there to help enrich other people's lives, and when we know something, to share it. Yes, so we'll be right back on our third segment. All right, see you in the next segment. We're going to be there. And this is Maria. And this is Joe. We'll talk to you soon. I know. I'll stop that. <laughs> what did you do? No, I didn't do that. <laughs> so we're still on. And I think we're back after six seconds. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.